everybody wants more power. The best yards in golf are the ones where you go past your opponent's golf ball. So I'm going to show you the three things that will produce more power. The backswing has to load, and loading is just a fancy word for winding up. And the three things that we have to, to wind up are, one, the wrist cock, so that we have them fully loaded, the arm swing length, so that we get some leverage, and the third one is you, the trunk. Then those three elements are called loaded. They're ready to go and fire. So I'm going to do that again for you to see those three elements. One, the wrist cock. Two, the arm swing. Three, the rotation of the trunk or the loading up of the trunk, the winding of the trunk. And here's a simple way to do that. Just rest the club on your right shoulder. Turn right. That loads the trunk to the limit. Take your arms off your shoulders. And there's the swing loaded with the three elements, wrist cock, arm swing length, and trunk turn. Now we've got to figure out, when we get to here, how do we unload all this into the ball at high speed and hit the ball a long way, which we all like to do? So now we go to sequence. Sequencing starts from the ground up. So now we go to feet, legs, and hips, and that's where the unloading begins. So we start to come off the right foot, right knee in, hips are beginning to turn open, and that allows us to unload the, the three things we had at the top of the backswing, wrists, arms, and trunk rotation. And when that happens, you have a kind of an explosion of speed. So we load the three, wrists, arms, trunk. Then we unload from the base, feet, legs, hips, and then let the three things go. And in a swing sequence, it looks like this. And that's the way you go 10 yards past your opponent's golf ball.